welcome everyone to this kickoff celebration for the Cincinnati Public Schools African American Male Initiative. We need more. And I, I tell you, I look forward to the upcoming opportunities to share the good news about what will take place as a result of this evening and the efforts that all of you make in, in turning around some of the situations that exist in our community. For this important kickoff to support our African American males and other at-risk young men. The challenges our young men face go far beyond the classroom but if we're to ensure their success, we, the collective we, have to come together to make sure that all our youngsters are successful, and then when they are, we will be able to share in their success. So, My name is Eric Thomas. I am the Director of the Office of Innovation. We are so excited about what's gonna take place within the Cincinnati Public Schools. We are also so excited when we learned last August that the Cincinnati Public Schools was the highest rated urban school district in the state of Ohio, earning the category of effective. Congratulations to everyone. As we dive into moving toward being excellent, as an educator, as an administrator, we always go back and look at the data. How do we move from effective to excellent? What you're looking at is a breakdown of Ohio assessment scores for grades three to eight, and in the far right corner, grade 10. And this is for math, and this is this past school year. So although the district moved into the effective category, as you break down the subgroups, by gender and by race. You will quickly note that in third grade math, the young men was third of the four groups identified. As you come across, you will note that the young men are last in every single other indicator. You then take a look at math, and many people consider math kind of a gateway course. At grade three, at grade four, grade five, grade six, grade seven, eight, and grade ten. The young men again are at the bottom. That's why we're here this evening. It is about getting a high school diploma. The numbers are staggering. The data tells us. The individuals who do not get a high school diploma, they will have a challenged life. And the students who are exemplifying this concept that we call more, men, organized, respectful, and educated. As I call your name, and these are present students, if you would simply come to the front and, and stay, if you would. From D. Woodward Career Technical High School, Number two in the graduating class of 2011, Mark Anthony Durbin. <laughs> From Schroeder Paidea Academy, Alfonso Gillette the Fourth. <laughs> Alfonso also is number two in his graduating class. And from Withrow International High School, won the most prestigious award, the 2011 YMCA Character Award winner, Gino Griffith, number six in the class. <laughs> if you would, again, these young men exemplify the concept of more. Ladies and gentlemen. He's been a strong advocate for young men 
throughout our community. First as our county's coroner, and now as president of Cincinnati State Technical and Community College. Please welcome Dr. Odell Holmes. I would walk in and say, look, today I'm here not to educate you. I'm here not to entertain you. I'm here to save your life. And I was sincere. I talked to them about education. I know the value of an education. And when I look at those students, I always tell them, the young men who are here, I am you and you are me. Yes, I have three degrees from Yale, one from Harvard. I created the first test tube baby in Cincinnati, first pregnancy from a frozen embryo, helped the zoo create the world's first knowing test tube baby gorilla, but I was that poor boy from the West End that flunked out of Walnut Hills, who went to Woodward and was told, you're too dumb and too poor to go to college. in your school, or oh, I'm in your school, I'm in every one of your schools, there was someone then who reached out and said to me, you have potential. Cut it out. Be serious about your work. Are you the one? Are you the one? Are you the one? Who's going to be that way? Companies that build and maintain private prisons, look at the fourth grade reading score as one, one of the factors they use for how many new prisons or prison beds they're going to need in the future. How sad, but how real. Tonight, I'm so proud of the people who initiated this program, especially the superintendent. This is not something <laughs> that So now let's meet some graduates of the district who not only excel academically, but also spend a significant amount of time giving back to the community. Let's begin with Dennis Bettis Jr., known to friends as DJ. Dennis is a recent grad of Woodward Career Technical High School, who was a four-year starter on the varsity basketball team. He now attends Cuyahoga Community College, but even though he graduated, he just couldn't stay away from Woodward. So he came back and is now the parent coordinator, as well as an assistant boys basketball coach. He also serves as a mentor to young men throughout the city. Lamarque Ward. He is a graduate of Aiken High School, another basketball star. I wonder if they could still get out there on the court, you know. <laughs> <laughs> basketball star, he went on to college at Dickinson University. After graduation, he returned to Cincinnati and has committed his life to helping other young men. He is the founder and CEO of the Cincinnati Dream Academy, which provides basketball camps to inner city youth. He was named a Cincinnati unsung hero in 2010. Please give him a good round of applause. And there are certainly many others who have come through the public school system here in Cincinnati and have gone on to do great things in this and many other communities all across this country. It's a story that we don't hear enough about. At this time, let me uh, introduce the task force members, and if they could uh, please stand. We talked about the, you heard uh, Eve Bolton talk about the resolution the board passed at a recent meeting that really formed this task force. Leonard Dean, Parents of Public Schools. John Gardner, Director of Young Fathers Program, Community Action Agency. Don Lucky, Cincinnati Federation of Teachers. Brian Neal, 
the uh, program director. Sean Parker, Jameen Clement, Charles Hassel, Nate Foster, Paul McMillan, Chris Nels, Stan Ross, Eric Thomas, and Audley Smith. Thank you very much. Let me. The ladies and gentlemen standing before you, they took the call. In fact, they made the call. Upon reaching out to this community, these individuals representing these various organizations has committed to become partners in this work. As Dr. Owen spoke, a thousand homes can change Cincinnati. We're asking these individuals to go back to their organizations and to grab a few people. We're asking each one of you, as an individual, as a corporation, as an organization, to join in the work that is so absolutely vital to these young men to our school district, but really to our community. If you would, give these ladies and gentlemen another round of applause. Thank you so much. We have a chance to save lives. We have a chance to make the difference, the difference, in the lives of our young men. We need more. Uh, so much has been said, uh, I, I, I will be brief as I close. I, I, when I saw Jim Clayman over there, I, I thought how many times we've had conversations about a night like this. And, you know, you think, how can we make a difference? Because sometimes the mountain seems so hot. And I'll use another sports analogy as we wrap things up. Uh, because you know, the statistics are important. Sometimes the, the, the scenario might seem overwhelming, but there's that commercial by Nike that says, just do it. Uh, you know, at this point, we know what's necessary. We've known what's necessary in need. And so once again, tonight, you have a call to action. And here, as we near the end of April, and as, you know, when you think back 43 years ago, this month was the assassination of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. What's so powerful about that is his last call to action said to all of us, you have a choice. Where do we go from here? Community? or chaos. And so for 43 years, we've had this, this dilemma, this call to action, this choice. Once again, on this night, April 28, 2011, this call to action is we need more as you decide which way you're going to go, community or chaos. God bless you. Thank you very much for being here tonight. It's so important.